This was a very complex and extensive case. We had developed a clear picture over time and we stand assured that the work was not, the work is not done, but be assured the work is not done. This has just started. I recognize the frustration with the lack of information that's been released. However, providing any details in this criminal investigation might have tainted the upcoming criminal prosecution or alerted the suspect of our progress. I do believe our community is safe, but we still need to be vigilant, right? We still have talked about this in the past. We always need to be aware of our surroundings and make sure that uh, we're aware of what's going on. We are still looking for um, all pieces of evidence, um, but we are still looking for the, the weapon. Um, and I will say that uh, we have found an Elatra. Um, you will continue to see um, state troopers in the area. You know, we're talking to Latah County as well. You will see uh, a presence of us that we're always um, have up on campus. Uh, we have assigned officers to that. So you will continue to see a, a law enforcement presence. A criminal complaint was filed yesterday here in Latah County, charging the defendant, Mr. Kohlberger, with four counts of first degree murder in addition to felony burglary, which involves entering the residence with the intent to commit the crime of murder. The uh, factual basis for the charges are summarized in what's called a probable cause affidavit that is on file with the court. According to the rules of the Idaho Supreme Court, that is sealed until Mr. Kohlberger is physically back in Latah County and has been served with the Idaho arrest warrant. At that time, we expect that that affidavit will be available to you. As far as Mr. Kohlberger, I can share with you that he is a graduate student, Washington State University, and has an apartment residence over in Pullman. He has had an initial appearance in front of a judge in Pennsylvania. He is being held without bond, and the warrant from our magistrate judge here also provides for no bond. We understand that he's scheduled to be back in court in Pennsylvania next Tuesday afternoon the process at this point is since he was arrested in another state, he has the opportunity to either waive extradition and return voluntarily to the state of Idaho, or if he prefers not to waive extradition, then we will initiate extradition proceedings through our governor's office. This is not the end of this investigation. In fact, this is a new beginning. You all now know the name of the person who has been charged with these offenses. Please get that information out there. Please ask the public, anyone who knows about this individual, to come forward, call the tip line, report anything you know about him to help the investigators and eventually our office and the court system understand fully everything there is to know about not only the individual, but what happened and why.